I grew up in a, in a family of seven children. I was the oldest and my father was a doctor. My mother um, ended up going to school. A, a lot of the time she was raising the kids, uh, ended up with two master's degree degrees. There, was, uh, there were always books around the house and I became a uh, voracious reader at the earliest age. And what I do today is I believe directly attributable to the amount of reading I did early in my life. When I was a kid, I knew almost immediately, as soon as I could start thinking clearly as a child, I wanted to go into the newspaper business. I was one of those rare kids who knew when he was probably 10, 12 years old, as soon as my parents gave me, a, uh, gave me an electric typewriter, I remember it was like baby blue, I hated the color of it, but they gave me this electric typewriter and I just lived on that electric typewriter and started writing stories. Uh, I would rewrite the stories that I saw in the newspaper on Long Island's Newsday. So uh, I, I was a strange one. I, I knew almost, almost immediately that if I couldn't play in the National Hockey League, which was highly, highly unlikely, that I wanted to go into the newspaper business. There was something magical to me about picking up the paper every day and reading. I actually, uh, at a young age, uh, really had a great affinity for, for art and I had a wonderful in introduction. My father was a very muscular, strapping man, had big arms, and he had a big tattoo on his left arm, and I'd sit in my dad's lap and look at his tattoo and squeeze his left arm like that, you know, and, and he'd be sitting there with me on his lap, and he'd be doodling on a piece of scrap paper and doing these Grandma Moses, you know, stick figures and stuff. And then he'd tell me what it was, and then I could see what it was, but I thought it was really cool. And I think the connection is, the father-son thing is, if the father and son have a relationship, and a good relationship, the son emulates what the father does. I remember telling a Native American story, and I had a tendency at the beginning to uh, after the story to say what the story meant because after all I was a rabbi and I was there to have a message and a moral lesson so I would tell the story and now I'd say and here's what the story is telling us. Well I learned um, about I learned that that was not a good way to tell a story. The best way to tell a story was to allow uh, the people who were the listeners to develop their own relationship. I think everyone sees themselves as the star actor in their own movie. I mean, our life is a whole story. And so we connect with stories because we are living one. And I think that that's one of the ways we learn. Uh, sometimes stories can reveal something to us that we hadn't considered, that we can apply to our own story of our own life. 